32. Progressed. I could send through to the round of 16. <clears throat> so we're underway then. The final bout of the session is at 80 kilograms between boxers from Turkey and Kyrgyzstan. The tattooed figure wearing red is Khan Aykutsun, 21 years of age from the Turkish capital. His opponent wearing blue, Amabek Begzigit Ulu, 24 years of age, comes to the ring. His second attempt to qualify for the Olympic Games. Multiple World Championships appearances under his belt, and in 2022, Amabek Begzigit Ulu was the Asian continental bronze medalist. Going after his man at short range with that overhand right, remaining calm under fire despite taking shots to the body as I Kutsun. See, he's got his head around his, his hands around his head, but that there's plenty of room beneath and in between his elbows, and Begzigit Ulu has set about that scoring opportunity immediately. I think Aykutsun may have been hurt to the body there as he scored with a single counter upstairs. And look at Begzigit Ulu dig away to the body once again. I think Ulu really fancies the job of this. I feel like he thinks he can get his man out of here pretty quick. Greater international experience under the belt of Begzigit Ulu. Also finalist in the World Championships in Belgrade in 2021 at the Stark Arena. Has appeared in World Championships going all the way back to the edition in Yekaterinburg in 2019 at the senior level. Good job there, for, good job then from Ulu. Right hand over the top from Begzigit Ulu. Follow up left hook was short by some distance. Aykutsun hasn't really committed himself to getting in range through the first two minutes of this opening round. And it's Begzigit Ulu who appears to be dominating the distance. As look at that in the exchange of jabs, it's Begzigit Ulu that is far more authoritative, sending Aykutsun backwards towards the ropes. Yeah, Aykutsun just isn't really getting into it. He needs to get his, get his jab working. He's taking the centre fine, but then he's not doing anything while he's there. He spent a good 10 seconds there and he hasn't thrown a punch. Inaccurate with his right hand to the body left hook. Attempt to the head was Aykutsun. Again, oh, that's a beautiful counter left, right. Shake, shake of the right glove to perhaps celebrate that shot from Aykutsun. I hope he hasn't hurt his right hand. Begzigit Ulu roughing his man up on the inside, reminiscent of, the, reminiscent of what Marco Antonio Barrera did in his iconic contest against Prince Nazim Hamed in Las Vegas. Oh, Aykutsun celebrating by pumping that right hand, but I think that's more in hope rather than expectation because for my money, there was one winner of that round, but it's gone the other way. I do find that rather surprising because I thought that this man's punch output was lower. He scored with some eye-catching counters, but all five judges preferring the work of Aykutsun. Yeah, I, I thought um, Ulu did enough there to, to take that round. Again, because that was the posture that Aykutsun spent a large part of the round in, on the back foot, under pressure, worked over to the body. Aykutsun had his successes, one particular success that he celebrated by shaking out his right hand. Clean sweep of the cards from Aykutsun, which I do find rather surprising. Ulu's got it all, all to work for now in this second round. He's going to have to pick up the pace. So here we go then, into the second round. Nice long lead left hook from Aykutsun. Remember, he's taken the first round unanimously. Begzigit Ulu rendered inaccurate on that forward foray. That final right hand may have snuck between the defences of Aykutsun. Aykutsun using his gloves and forearms effectively, but I think that final right hand did get between his defences. Nice counter single right hand from Aykutsun. There's a left jab that penetrates Aykutsun's defences. Looking for a counter single. Good right hand to the body from Begzigit Ulu. So clever counter-punching, and there's a really eye-catching jab off the back foot from Aykutsun. 
There's a brave display this from Aykutsen because he's inviting pressure, trusting that his defences are going to remain intact, leading with the elbow. Is that is Begzigit Ulu? And then he's countering, often only with singles. There's a two-shot counter, the right hand to the body. A scoring shot from Aykutsen. So it's a very, it's a nerveless display, this, from the Turkish national champion. Yeah, I, I like his, I like his counter punching that he's doing with the the single shots. Just as his man Ulu's coming forward, but Ulu's just digging those body shots in. And again, clean left hook landed with that screw shot from Bexigit Ulu during that exchange. But I Kutsun in the first half of the round, very clever counter punching. Check left hook as he spins off the line without reply. Bexigit Ulu has got to perhaps quicken his feet. Bexigit Ulu penetrating his man's defences with that flicking left jab. And beautiful movement in the pocket. Oh. Knocked down. Well, again, legs tangled. I think there was a bit of a slapping shot from Bexigit Ulu. Forcing Aykutsun to touch down. He was looking to spin off the line. Aykutsun, as clever as his counter-punching is, I think he's going to have to show the judges that he's not running here. But it's all very well back foot boxing, but you see, he just been punched from one part of the ring to the other. Now he plants his feet and starts to fire back. But he could be con it could be construed as being negative. There's a beautiful left hook from Aykutsun, who then changes direction and moves counterclockwise. But that is always the dilemma that a back foot boxer faces. And credit to Aykutsun, he did hold his feet and let his hands go, but his chin was clocked cleanly there. So while his defences were trusty in the first minute of the round, Davy lands a beautiful left hook, Kai Kutsun. They've been breached far too readily to be the single-shot counter-puncher that he likes to be. Well, it's not the end of the round. Referee telling Kai Kutsun to keep his head up. Again, the busier boxer is the man in blue, and he's scoring effectively to the body. Now, I thought that big Ziggit Ulu won the second round. Can't discount the counter-punching, but I just think that could be a little bit negative from Aykutsun. How do the judges see it? And remember, judges from different parts of the world see the game differently. Aykutsun has taken the second round for judges two, three, four, and five. Begzigit Ulu, I think, is desperately unlucky here. After six minutes of boxing, he has taken a, he has taken a round for one of the five scoring judges because Aykutsun's counter-punching was really crisp and clever in the first minute of the first half of the second round. But Begzigit Ulu thereafter, I thought, enjoyed terrific success. Look at that. Demonstrative and indicative of what he was able to do. Now, Aykutsu has won this round. I really, I really do not know. I really do not know. Ulu, like you say, is, is being very, very unlucky of not to have scored anything. Um, in that last round. He's, he's got a, a big job on his hands now for this third round. So, referee not happy with the amount of moisture on the canvas over in the blue corner here in ring A. Law cleaning crew called into action. Just a little more time with the boxers in the respective new, opposite neutral corners for them to think about the task that lies ahead and for Begzigit Ulu the task is quite simple. He needs a massive final round because look at this. This, to me, is what has taken place over the first two rounds. Why is there... Oh, he's saying he's punching incorrectly with the inside of the glove. But in the second half of the second round, that's what I saw. And I'm seeing it again here. The body shots clearly not being recognised or scored. And the man's clinging on desperately. My goodness. Well... He's entering bout management mode Shocking. pretty early, is Aykutsun. And again, looking out of the ring to his corner. He's never given me the impression that he's comfortable, despite his counter-punching ability. There's a 10-second burst of action on the resumption after the intervention of the ref, where Aykutsun has done nothing but take body shots, and now he's running like a thief in the night. My goodness. And Begzigit Ulu has been rewarded by one judge after six minutes of boxing. And this, to me, well, Aykutsun's got to be careful here because, remember, in Olympic-style boxing, it's 10-9 for a close round. 10-9 
10-8 for a clear winner, 10-7 for total domination. And this, to me, I Kutzen's not at the races. He's absorbing punches willingly to his body, trying to cover up, and he could well take a standing count. But with half of the round gone, I Kutzen has done nothing of note offensively. My, I think he's playing a really dangerous game. A really dangerous game, I Kutzen. And his hopes of progressing through to the quarter-final of this qualification tournament, I think they're hanging by a thread. I don't think he should be in the position that he's in on the scorecard, but that's academic because the, look at the work to the body. It's as though Begzigit Ulu is working against a heavy bag, and then he clings on. I find this remarkable from Aikutsen because this is anything but a competitive performance. I think he's feeling the pace too, and wouldn't anybody look at the body punches the man is absorbing? There he lands a sneaky right hand, only to cling on once again, and his energy levels are depleting on, right before our very eyes. The referee's got to take charge of this because this isn't boxing from Aikutsen. It's a survival mission, and he's standing there showing as much movement as a heavy bag in a slight breeze. I cut since thrown six punches the whole round. This is remarkable from Begzigit Ulu, and now he's turning his back and running. The ref has got to take charge of this third and final round. Counter right hook from I cut some, but look at how he's been hurt to the body consistently. This has to be a 10-8 round. From I agree with you entirely, Ulu. Nicola got to be a 10-8 round because Aikutsen hasn't competed and he's been worked over mercilessly to both body and head by the marauding figure of Begzigit Ulu. I think that oh. man in blue deserves to win this contest. He trailed 20 points to 18 for four of the five judges, which means he needed a massive final round just to bring about parity on the scoreboards and to his credit, to Omar Be Begzigit Ulu's credit, he went out and did exactly that working over Karnai Kutzen from opening bell to last. The man was running, he was turning his back and willingly absorbing body shots. I think he got the tactics totally wrong, maybe didn't have the energy to implement his team's tactics. And I think the man in blue should be declared a winner on count back here because that is a 10-8 round if ever I've seen one. A. The winner, my boy, split decision in the red. Shocking. Oh, dear Shocking. me. I'm sorry. I think that is an absolutely awful outcome for Umar Beg Begzigit Ulu. How on earth can you deny the man his Olympic dream like that?